The PFA Heroes program um, at John Faulkner College is in its second year. It's a mentor style program with four players from the Melbourne Heart soccer team coming in and working with our students in small groups once a week on a Wednesday afternoon. So we're working towards a football festival program and each week we cover issues such as respect, teamwork, success, commitment and we're working towards our football festival later in the year. It's important to celebrate the interests and passions of our students and soccer is a big passion here at John Faulkner College. We have our Soccer Academy and this was an extra way of supporting that passion and interest but in a really structured and yeah, it really benefits the students, this program, in terms of looking at the big picture stuff, setting goals, success, looking at core values that the school promotes as well. So we found the benefits were huge and now that it's in the second year and students really are aware of what the program is, to be in the program is seen as a privilege and the behaviour of all students who want to be in the program and their engagement in school has increased because they realise and understand that to be in this program they also need to be demonstrating those values that we expect. So it's been a win-win, a win for the students number one and a win for the school in terms of seeing those, um, those really positive behaviours in all of our students. The highlights of the HEROES program is the relationship you see form between the mentors and the students. It's that reality check for kids. They've got someone real in front of them who isn't a teacher because we wear off after a while our impact. We, we're certainly working so closely with the students. It's nice to have, I guess, an outsider who's familiar and the student can really relate to. So we find that that relationship really does help focus and settle students in all of their goals. We've got a few students who are very passionate about football as a, a possible pathway, but even our other students really can take on board the lessons from our mentors and apply those to the different pathways that they've got planned for themselves. So we, yeah, it's so many benefits for our students. We find having that confidence to deal with a new adult is really important. It's important that they see other professionals in their workplaces and that's what the footballers are. So to have those communication skills is really important. Um, and again, those relationships that form. Um, we've got one student, Taha, at the moment who gives a, a weekly report on all, the on all the players. So he'll give them a little printout on how they went on the weekend. <laughs> He gets the photos off um, yeah, the different news websites and so forth and it's become a little bit of a, a theme that he's got um, giving that feedback to the players. So it goes both ways. I don't know how much the, um, the players take that on board in terms of um, feedback but no, certainly that relationship. Definitely. Absolutely. You can see from the body language and I really love seeing that progress from the first session where the mentors are almost as nervous as the kids and then by the end of the session you've got a little bit of a rapport and they're starting to warm up and then the second week it's the students greeting and walking up to their mentors and given that they've been able to see their mentors on TV um, in the meantime or in the newspaper I think that adds to the relationship as well having that media coverage and by the third week it's high fives and how you're going and it's really lovely it's a really warm place to be. It's very comprehensive particularly the work booklet that the students have they've got homework that they need to do so it's something that is seen as it requires commitment and they're due two days after each session so we actually collect those and correct those on Friday. It covers many of the different VELs uh, levels so all sorts of skills are covered and and showcased and it's good because they tap into each an individual skill that students have um, but there's such a range so it's not just a case of being really strong at soccer it's also being able to talk in front of a group and express yourself and lots of skills. Certainly teamwork and in preparing for our football festival students have had jobs assigned to them for example writing a letter to perhaps ask for some support with catering for our football festival day, sending out invitations to our primary schools. They've had to really take on board that that's what they're going to do and we don't have time to cover that in the session so they've got a responsibility to come back to the group next week prepared. 
So teamwork and of course respect. With the mentor-based program working in a small team, I think that's really rich because the students have access to a mentor but also access to a new group of people because it's cross year level. So within their small group of five students and one mentor, uh, that's a very new experience for them to have such a, I guess, that relationship with their mentor but also within their team which carries on and then into the school beyond just the sessions. The students understand that there's certain criteria to be in the program and they they understand that when they apply to be in the program and there is a selection process in place not to discourage students but simply to encourage those things that we expect in the real world when you go for a job or you try to get into university so we try to make it really authentic and we do see given that they have some individual tasks to do between the sessions such as their blog and the different individual responsibilities they take on to prepare for the festival day. Also they know that if their behaviour is less than satisfactory between sessions then they're at risk of, of not being in the sessions and the program so that in itself is a nice, it's more of a carrot rather than the stick, it encourages the right behaviour so we find yeah the whole thing's really positive. The festival day that we've got planned for later in the term We'll see over 200 primary school students involved, so it's a real positive for us as a school because we do like to promote our programs to our local feeder primary schools, but it's also a terrific engagement of the community. We have parents coming along from both our students and the students of the primary school um, students. We have teachers from other schools attending. We have students who aren't in the program at our school assisting with the logistics of the day and the planning of the day so it became it's become a real school event a whole school event the football festival day um, we work throughout the program in our little group of 20 but really the people who are involved in the big picture program uh, of the program really is I don't know I couldn't put a number on it but it's it's yeah it's probably close to 300 people would be involved and touched in some way from the HEROES program. You feel incredibly supported in this program. There are a lot of programs out there and often they rely on so much teacher planning and time. Um, again, I'm not going to, this program does take time, but you're so supported with the resource and the mentors themselves that it's, it's really quite a pleasure to be a part of. And in terms of workload, it's a couple of logistical things, but overall the benefits that you personally as a, an individual and then as a professional and as part of a wider school far outweigh any work that's involved and we're all busy anyway so it's um yeah i'd really recommend it